what's up you guys so today's video i will be showing y'all how to transform into peace into a bathing suit so before we jump into this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel press that bell so you don't miss any videos give this video a fat thumbs up and comment down below but what i am doing right here is i'm laying out the two piece as you can see these are the pants and what i'm doing is i'm trying to get them as flat as possible and get them in the camera so you guys can see and so i have these swimsuit bottoms that i'm just going to use to trace out the fabric and i'm going to kind of like cut them out bigger than what they really are because you have to think about once you fold down the seams and sew them is going to be smaller than what it is when you cut it out so i'm going to leave as much room as i possibly can and then once i do that we're going to go ahead and start sewing the pants basically making them look just like the blue bottoms So what I'm doing, like I already told you guys, I'm folding down the seams and sewing over them uh, instead of just wearing them out and making them look tacky, like I just cut them. And then I thought I was going to have to make them smaller, but I actually didn't because I forgot they were already fitted to begin with. So they were actually kind of fun. I can't say they were a tad loose, but I guess it's just because of the way I made them. I didn't really double the fabric because it wasn't really like that before I cut them so I just left them like that and this is not I don't think this is necessarily really so like not sewing with bathing suit material fabric so it's a little different So this is what they look like after I sewed down the seams of them. And actually I did cut it in half because the way I'm making them is kind of like it's going to have like a slight slit at the top. I really should have just cut it at the top and then sewed it back instead of cutting it all the way through and then having to sew it right back up. But I really was confused because I didn't know what exactly I was doing. But basically what I'm going to do is the backs of them, like the part that goes around my waist, I'm sewing it down enough that way I can put like a string through it. That way they can be kind of like tie on the sides, bathing suit bottoms.
So these are the strings that I'm going to be entering into the seams at the top of the bathing suit bottoms. And I'm just using a safety pin, hooking it onto the end of the string and doing a push and pull method. That way I can get it all the way through. Perfect. And just so the string doesn't get lost, I'm just going to tie them and keep it secure. But um, yeah, that's basically all you have to do. And they kind of look really good. So now right here, which I don't think I showed, I'm doing the, the bathing suit top. So it's kind of like a triangle bikini top. And basically, it was kind of really hard to make this because I didn't know exactly what I was doing. The way I wanted to make it. It didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it would because I didn't do it right. I didn't cut out the fabric the way I was supposed to and I felt like I didn't have enough so I just used what I felt was easier and fastest. But basically I used the top part of the two piece and I cut kind of like weird looking triangles. They were like triangles mixed with squares. But I kind of cut it off and then turn it inside out and I sewed the seams up so they will look smooth when I put it back inside out. And then I just sewed the rest of it. But um, yeah, I had to cut a little bit off so it would kind of look like a real triangle because the square part just wasn't doing it. Now it's weird how kind of this two piece is made. So the pants aren't double fabric, but the top is. So the top was fairly easy for me to do the bikini top to it because it was already double fabric. So it was felt like a real bikini top. Cause that's naturally how most people make bikinis or bathing suits period. But um, yeah, so here is the string and I am putting it in. Like I said, I use a push and pull method. And it's our, the string that goes around my neck is already was already attached because that's how the shirt was made. It was like a halter top. So I just left it on there. But I did cut it in half because it wasn't tight enough. So when I just put this bathing suit top on, I'm just going to like tie it at the top and then tie it at the back. So it can be secure and it won't fall off. And you know, my little breast assist won't come out. But you guys, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch my last video. If you missed it, I will leave the link down below. Comment, like, share this video, and I'll see y'all in my next one. But yeah, this is the finishing product. And here's the little cover-up that I made because it matches with the suit. And I don't really like showing too much anyway. And I know y'all probably peeped how the top was supposed to look. But I tucked that under because I didn't like the way it looked. And it just didn't turn out right. And eventually, I did cut it off. But yeah, this is my bathing suit. And I'm definitely going to wear it. See you guys later. Thank you.